All right, next question comes from Anthony with a $20 donation, dude. Really fucking appreciate that. Didn't we see the story before? Collect the Infinity Stones, get supercharged. 9.2 will be a time heist where we go back to get sigils. Did Marvel buy Blizzard recently? So, this is actually something that I spoke about with... What the fuck was my camera just doing? Uh, this is actually something that I that I spoke with Terran before. As a storyteller, uh, I think Terran told us there's about nine different ways that you can tell a story. Just nine different plots that you can use in a story. This has been tested multiple times over. Almost every single story uses one of these nine plots. And that's basically the only way that you can tell a story. They, they've done the psychological testing. They're... Anything outside of that nine does not seem to hit with humanity. It just, it doesn't work. Humanity just, we just reject that as not, not real and we can't fucking follow that story. So there's about nine different ways that they can tell a story. Is it possible that Blizzard chooses a story that is exactly the same as Avengers? Yeah, of course it is, right? It's entirely possible that Blizzard decides on a storyline that is so similar to the Avengers story that we almost start to think, whoa, you could be sued for copyright. <laughs> so this is the problem though, isn't it? As you said, there are only, uh, I think you said like 17 stories uh, in total, but they, that it's not enough is basically what it boils down to. Is there, there oh, aren't actually that many something like stories. Because is it Avengers or is it Dragon Ball? You go around collecting seven Dragon Balls to get a wish and oh, the enemy got <laughs> them for, oh, big bad. Let's, let's go back in time and get the Dragon Ball. Oh, wait. So yeah, it's it's not a new story, but it's just the most no. recent instance. Yeah, it's not a new story, but it's a it's an easy way to tell a story, especially if you've done what Blizzard have done, which I believe they've sort of painted themselves into a corner that I don't see how they're gonna get out of it. Right? Now time travel to me might be one of the worst ways to tell a story. Because more often than not, time travel makes you feel disconnected from the story because it's it's like uh, i'm i'm always sort of i wish that george rr R. martin could have followed his own advice for longer because yeah he never he never wanted magic in his books because he believed that magic makes things silly if you have too much magic you can just keep bringing people back with the magic you can basically rewrite entire swaths of your story if you're not happy with them Right? He wanted to make, he wanted to keep magic out of his story as much as possible. And for the most part, he succeeded in that. That's the problem with whenever you go England rampant. just won. Oh, congratulations, English. I'm sure I just heard my fucking walls just go bang, bang, <laughs> bang. As all the fucking crowd in town just went nuts. Oh, shit. So this is sort of where I, it's, it's sad that this is what Blizzard is going to do, but it is probably what Blizzard is going to end up doing. They're going to use magic to fix a problem that they themselves created. And then we're going to play through it. Now, what kind of magic would I be okay with? If you had to come up with a time expansion, Apocalypse, that you would be okay with, what expansion would you be okay with? So... We've come up with the idea before of going back and actually ending up helping the Infinite Dragonflight uh, to establish some important events to actually stop Zaval becoming Zaval. Yeah. Um, or coming to power, rather. So, yeah, I think I think that would be a good one. Uh, the Chromie time scenario was great. Uh, I don't think they should do it again as a bigger thing. I think it should just be left as it was, as like a testing ground for something. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I... I don't know. Time travel is always a difficult one because, as you said, it disconnects people because they hear time travel, they think, "Oh, I can't keep track of this," when it's actually really not that hard. No. If you want, if you want hard time travel, go look at Looper. That shit will melt your fucking brain. Looper was a pretty good but, movie, though. Yeah, it definitely was. <laughs> Back to the Future is that really that hard to understand? Time travel? No, but I think it does. It it again asks you to suspend disbelief right now with looper and with back to the future by the way congratulations to italy oh, right. so happy cool. for you i'm sorry for the english fans you guys were so hyped that you were finally gonna win and uh, <laughs> i guess you have to wait for i don't know whenever the euros takes place again um i don't even know is it every year I, every four it years was, it was people down the road fucking going mental but i guess we got some italians in town um <laughs> I, I, it used to be whenever we had an election, so it should have been every four years, but then our election got fucked up, so I, I don't know. Probably don't know every four years or some shit like that. Probably like the World Cup, every two years alternating with the World Cup sort of thing. 
Um, now, the problem with Looper as well as with Back to the Future is these were both movies that was based on time travel. The problem, so to speak, for me, when it comes to uh, time travel in games that isn't is or books that isn't necessarily based on it, is it it's it, it's a very easy way to go. Oops, just erase yeah. it at the time. And then I'm the one going. No, 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 no. Oops. Tell your story. You know. No, no, no. Oops. Just tell your fucking story. That's all you need to do now, right? Keep the story it going. Is a new cop out, unfortunately. Yeah. And that that really is not a story I want to see. I don't want to see a cop out time travel. Like that's not that's not a good story at all. With the exception of one. If we went back all the way to the days of the Black Empire. I'd be on board with that fucking story. Is that really a cop out though? No, no. Is like that's a reset. That, that's what I'm saying. That that would be a full reset, and I'm happy with that. That's not a problem. But uh, just a cop out of ah uh, no, we go back and kill babies of ours, so we can't be a threat in the future. Oh no. Yeah, no, no. That that we is it, like that that is a stupid time to. But if we reset yeah. the entire game and basically took us back to the days of the Black Empire. I would be, I would, I would be so happy to see the entirety of Azeroth as it were, or as it was at the time of the Black Empire would be fantastic. Like that would be absolutely magnificent. Um, it would be good, and you've got ways to tie it into what we've been seeing in Shadowlands as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, there's not only Nazoth, but most recently Nazoth telling us he's the only one that can actually help us win this war that's coming. We're unprepared. Yeah. Um, all, all this nonsense but no. i mean it it would make sense if we went back that far to see the origin of muazala and no. the trolls and the mm -hmm. night elves and maybe the first ever night warrior that you know was hinted at the origin of the stoneborn and the stone right and we've got a load of stories that could go back but yeah i doubt they'll do it um jace or jc uh you're saying you're something i wanted to make a video about but that'll probably probably never happen. We have an alternate Draenor that never connected to its Azeroth. Um, let's not go down that route because very quickly we <laughs> turn into Azeroth is Draenor, even though that theory have been laid to rest. But no, 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 it's actually come back again. All right, so, it's back. Uh, okay, let's hear this. With the Titans being the first ones as a possibility, um, yeah. with the Maker's Grand Design and all that stuff, it actually means they can transcend reality, and so therefore could actually, <laughs> it could actually be true again because Muffinus was obviously wrong. So okay, it's back. So it is back. But remember, it's not that yeah. alternate Draenor never connected with Azeroth. It absolutely did connect with Azeroth. We went back in BFA to rescue the alternative Draenor orcs, the Magar. So it did have a connection to Azeroth. The only difference is with the alternate yeah. Draenor is we stopped the invasion that would have led to its connection to Azeroth. But it would still have connected to Azeroth if we did not interfere with the timeline, right? So that's sort of where that would be, um, at least in terms of where Blizzard wants to put the story. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you enjoyed this clip from the Sunday Night Show Show. If you enjoyed it and you want to watch it live, the link to the main channel will be in the description down below. And of course, remember to slap a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and smash that bell. It does help out. To all of the patrons, thank you so much for your monthly support. It does mean the world to me. And of course, it makes streams like this one possible. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you. Consider becoming a patron. Link in the description down below. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace out, fam.